so I got the belts in and um, I just started playing around with the cassette deck and then I noticed the following what happened I think this is play the tape actually starts spilling out right down here so I've got to take a closer look at that fast forward reverse seems to be fine the tape also shuts off at the end and the pause button seems to be working now when this here capstan turns this thing here is supposed to be turning two but it's kind of like I see right here it's kind of he wants to but it's binding so I'm guessing there's a problem somewhere along the line here this is um, turntable here I think I just figured out what the problem is here's a cap stand and behind this cap stand is a rubber pulley which has basically almost disintegrated and what happens when the cap stand turns this pulley here presses against this little idler wheel and that presses against the turntable once you put it in the play position so what's happening now is since the pulley is almost disintegrated all the way this isn't turning right and then this isn't turning right either so basically you can say that yeah they're this is supposed to be synchronized with this and if we don't have that then tape is going to be spilling out So there is a little washer here on the uh, cap stand and there's also one on the other side right there right here too that has to come off so in order for me to get that off I'm going to pull back on the flywheel from the back side I've got my hand on the back side and then I'm going to push this forward like that and then pull that out and the same thing with the other side and of course the actual flywheel that should pull off really easily and there it goes right, you can see the gunk right there because that disintegrated um, pulley and now I have to just pull off the other flywheel. Now there's actually another little um, washer down here. Once you pull it off, you got to make sure you don't lose these washers. And here, once I pull this other flywheel off, the washer was still stuck on. So I am going to pull it off and then um, put it back on here so I don't lose it but first I'm going to clean all of this gunk off with uh, alcohol now here you can see me uh, getting down here with the q-tip if I pull back on here I think this route I'm kind of leery of taking the whole mechanism apart just to get to this idler wheel so I'm doing it this way it's going to take me longer but I think I'll be able to get everything reasonably reasonably clean and over here of course there's also gunk on here too what I did here is I just uh, put the q-tip down here and just turn this I'm going to get this all cleaned up and then I'm going to go ahead and install a piece of uh, tubing. I'm also getting down in here as good as I can where the pulley was. So I got the other side all cleaned up and now what I'm going to do is put the flywheel back in and then 
So when I pull it out, it's still got gunk on it. I'm just going to continuously clean it with alcohol until it it becomes clean when I pu pull it out. So I just do that over and over again until it's all cleaned up. And in the end, I'm going to go ahead and oil the shaft somewhat. In order to replace the pulley, which you can't get anymore, I'm going to cut a piece of... Uh, this is uh, <coughs> plastic tubing. I think it, I bought it a while ago, and I think it was for, uh, it's a fuel line for basically models, gasoline powered engines. And I think it was the outside diameter, I think it's five millimeter. I'm not really sure. I bought it. Looks like it's five millimeter, and the inside. I'm not a hundred percent sure it could be around two millimeters I don't actually remember because it's been a while since I bought it so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut myself a piece with a razor actually two pieces and then I'm gonna use that as a basically as a pulley replacement so this is supposed to fit over here like this here I could have Piece, actually I cut two pieces that were five millimeters long and I'm gonna try these if this is not if this is too smooth I think I'm gonna use some really fine uh, sandpaper and um, scuff it up if it's uh, if it's touching the idler wheel and it seems to be slipping but I think I'll find out once I put it back, once I put this back in. So I did end up scuffing it a little bit with a little fine sandpaper. It feels to be a little bit rougher now and I have a better grip. Of course, I'm not doing like heavy sanding. I don't want to um, sand it down and make it oblong. Just enough to get it, get it a little bit more grippy. That way I don't have to take it apart. Now I decide to actually apply a little bit of uh, oil down here. And since I can't find my wife's uh, sewing machine oil. So now you can actually see the shaft poking through here. I'm going to take this little piece here and then drop it down there. Move this back here and then force this down in there and then push up on the flywheel and that should uh, make the flywheel shaft go through the rubber pulley. Now you can actually see I've managed to get the, uh, the rubber pulley down there on the flywheel. Now I'm going to push up on the flywheel. I've got it in position and then once I get it through, of course, I might have to do a little bit manipulation of it, manipulation to bring it in, in the position, but that should be about it. So I put everything back together, and now you can see that this uh, that this take up uh, take up reel here is working fine. Basically, it's synchronized with the rest here, so the tape is not getting hung up anymore.